Tonight, an I-Team investigation is getting results. The MBTA is improving one of its busiest parking facilities and making the change after the I-Team showed commuters sprinting to their cars to avoid traffic jams. WBZ's Ryan Cass live in studio now. And Ryan, that there were problems at the garage was no surprise to Top T officials. Not at all, Lisa. Emails the I-Team obtained show the agency knew there were issues with the Route 128 parking garage almost a year ago. But leaders at the T didn't kick into high gear until the I-Team showed this nightly mad dash to the exit. You run like this every day after work? Day, yes. The I-Team showed the rush hour on foot at the MBTA's Route 128 garage in Westport. Why are you running right now? To beat the traffic. Commuters blamed a new exit process. Even though the facility has easy pass, drivers need to show a ticket and press a button before the technology reads a transponder and opens the gate. But all too often, customers told the I-Team the software malfunctioned, closing exit lanes and causing garage gridlock. Horrible. I miss things all the time. My kids like performances because it's just a nightmare trying to get out of here. Emails the I-Team obtained show the T knew about EasyPass issues at the garage last April. But it wasn't until our January story where the wheels of change started to turn. Images like this elevated the facility to a top priority, where agency leaders demanded an action plan as soon as possible. What's that like at the end of your day? Oh, it's uh, frustrating. And the morning after the I-Team broadcast, a parking manager wrote, We've reached a critical point where we need to either fix the problems or do away with the technology altogether. So within a few weeks, vendors completed upgrades and tweaked the technology to fix the frequent breakdowns. The cars are flying out of their parking spots. Daily customers like former Energy Secretary Ian Bowles tell the I-Team the changes have improved traffic flow, but he and other drivers would like to see a system similar to open road tolling on the pike. They could take that technology here to the garage and it would work like a dream, but for whatever reason, they've gone backwards to the sort of 1980s technology and it's not working for anybody. Those emails indicate the MBTA did consider that option, but ultimately decided against it. The T insists the current ticket system helps ensure an accurate vehicle count inside the garage and reduces fraud and double billing issues for customers who choose to pay with a credit card instead of EasyPass. So call it a compromise for now, David and Lisa. Definitely an improvement. Thanks, Ryan.